Hello friends, welcome to BISP Solutions. Myself Ashwin and I work as a technical consultant at BISP Solutions. BISP Solutions is a tech company and provide technological solutions across the world. Now this is our another video in Perceptron series and uh, in this video I am going to show you how to analyze our campaigning strategy. So let me show you here. See we have sent marketing campaign email. Okay. To different locations now we have the data of following information mail sent to which cities how many emails are opened how many emails were just clicked how many times the product page visited and in which city discount offered in which cities in some cities the discount was not offered then also the item is sold so it shows the interest of the people in which cities your items or products are purchased so these are the data that we receive when we run the campaign. You might have seen there are some offers coming on your email and as soon as you click those email immediately the message is sent to the sender. This is what we have done. Same thing we have sent the campaigns and offers to the several cities and people and then we receive this information. And this information is kept here look at this campaign data list right so the campaign data list i have kept here and here you see campaign marketing campaign csv we got the data here now our target is what to predict see our target is to check that does our campaign worked and if yes then how much is the success rate of our campaigning and in future how much campaigning help in selling product so that we need to predict that is all in all we are doing some analysis okay so i am just opening a new terminal here okay new file now okay so now let's see first of all what we need to do is what we need to do is first of all we need to import all the important libraries okay so just import all the libraries for example if i show you this look at this this is the libraries that we have we will require okay now after that what we need to do we need to read the data okay so now our next target is we need to look at this this is still processing that means we need to wait so we are importing torch sklearn scikit-learn numpy pandas now see here i am going to read this data now see age gender location email opened email clicked product page visit discount offered purchased this is how we are having the data this is the historical data now what we are going to do perceptron work only on numerical data not on alphabetical data so what we need to do convert the perth into one auckland zero sydney to brisbane three okay so now what we need to do data now look at this data is received here after that what we need to do we need to make x and y variables as usual look at this purchased we have made one x variable data dot dropped we have removed this purchased and remaining everything will remain in this x data and whatever purchased will come into the y data okay so if i click here x and if i click here y sorry small y right now what would be our next step we need to know the shape right so print x shape print y shape okay now look at this this is the shape 20 by 7 20 by 7 20 by 1 now x train x test train test algorithm train test function we need to deploy this train test function okay after that we need to standardize the data also see we need to standard that means fit we have to fit 
the data inside this train test function then we need to convert them into pytorch tensors now see we have what we have done here exactly we have fit the data and now after that we will convert them into tensors tensors as we know they are the array right then now now we have to define the perceptron model okay now what is this perceptron model this is the perceptron model in which perceptron in which we provide the x and y variable okay after that input dimension input dimension equal to x x underscore train dot shape right so now you will see here input dimension after that we need to initialize model let me show you this also wait here initial initialize model loss and optimizer so i will just hit the enter button after that after that step 4 that is train test model and we have to run the epochs epochs means how much time the function runs now look at this we have executed the epochs okay now epochs is 2000 look at this epochs these are the repetitions after that plotting the data now we are going to plot the data look at this this is what accuracy we reached up to 2000 that means maximum time we need to run this algorithm clear now we need to evaluate the model also okay now look at this accuracy is 50 percent now now see here we have done here torch and then prediction accuracy right now what we need to do okay now what we need to do here our next step would be predict on new data now see we have done on historical data now we are going to predict the new data it's not a loan status it's only a status right it's a status just a second okay it's a status only now see predicted class is zero that means he has not purchased we have taken the fresh data right and then immediately it predicted normally it is done on huge amount of data okay so now in this way the predicted status is no so we have seen that how the data is created and how it is placed again let's have a uh, quick recap now look at this first of all what we have done we have predicted the predicted the sorry imported the libraries and then we read the csv file after that we removed all the alphabetic and replaced with numerical then we created two variables x and y inside this x and y you will see x and shape right x shape and y shape then we have to transform the data that is fit we have to fit the data then after that train test train tensor and uh, train tensor we have to create so after the creation of train tensor like this it looks something like this then what we have done here we have uh, written the function of this perceptron right so now after running this we will get this input okay so now after that input dimension 
you will see then we have tried it with 2000 epoxy box means repetition and look at this and suppose if you make it 3000 let's let's do it 3000 no not 3 2 4 let's wait look at this right so now if i make it here look at this 50 percent and if i make it as 2000 okay so in this way it shows the accuracy and now it has shown here the data is how much accurate 50 percent so this is how we predicted so guys i recommend you to watch this video again and then try from yourself and if it works or if you face any difficulty you can send me message anytime right i will resolve your queries so guys if you go on uh, practicing this it will look like it's very easy okay so in our next video we will see on uh, some other topics how they works and if you're new to this channel please subscribe my channel thank you guys thanks for watching the video thank you